What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Young Dub coming at y'all with another video here. Uh, your boy been trying to do this video all freaking day, man. Uh, I know I've been saying in like previous videos, a lot of y'all are friends with me on Facebook. Yesterday, <laughs> your man had some free time, so I decided to get up, try to do better for the world, try to do better for the community, man. So I went ahead and got my arm poked with that COVID-19 vaccine, the Moderna one. And I've just been like, it's like the strongest muscle relaxer ever. Like my legs are all gummy and um, everybody like, hey man, you're drunk or you don't drop. I'm like, first of all, you know, I don't take drugs. Can't do it. No way. Um, I ain't drunk. If I was drunk, I would probably feel a little bit better about this because uh, I know where exactly what's going on and how to recover from it, man. So um, all I know to do is just, you know, try to roll with this whole thing and try to get going, man. But uh, coffee might be right after I hit the upload button on this, man. But since I finally did gather up the strength to get up and do this video, uh, y'all know how I do, man. Pop the box open to make it easier for the video. Uh, I usually go on my whole little soliloquy as far as uh, things I want to cover. But as of late, I've been doing it like, hey, let's just jump into it. This won't be no different. Let's just jump into it because you'll see exactly what it is on the cover or on the title of the video. But we ran it back again, man. So we got the custom speaker pods, customspeakerpods.com. Uh, Y'all know, as I've been stating this year, uh, this go around, we're going to go ahead and try the uh, Impala. And since they made the pods for the Impala, I decided, hey, let's go ahead and try it. Because I had these last year in my Tahoe. We're perfectly fine. Uh, so let's see what we got on this one. So, for the case of running it back, move that out the way, man, that's hella loud. Uh, but like I said, for the case of running it back, let's go ahead and try this. Uh, got the mounting hardware. Uh, only thing about this, it doesn't necessarily come with instructions. Uh, but like I said, I did this stuff last year, so I'm not really tripping about um, how it works or whatever, anything like that, because I pretty much know what I'm doing. All right, so let's move that box out of the way and get these jokers down on the table. All right, so you see what it is right there. Uh, these are made out of ABS plastic. Uh, I think I said last year uh, when I did these in the Tahoe, y'all see that shiny residue on there? That is exactly how they look in person. Uh, so this time um, we got the two six and a half along with the three and a half inch uh, super tweeter. Uh, so we'll try to get that going. Hopefully, these heavy jokers right here will fit. Uh, we will have to see if I need to do any type of modification or anything like that. Uh, last year when I was putting in those, um, the DS-18 uh, freaking EXL speakers, man, that was one hell. And I do mean one hell of a workout as far as getting those speakers in there. Um, you know, trying to get them situated. Like I said, if it would have been the speakers only, uh, no problem there, but I had the speakers along with the grills uh, because this goes down to your door panels. Uh, so like I said, you got kids, you got people, uh, you might have some drunk whole boys getting in the car. You don't want them kicking your speakers and knocking that out, man. You, sp you paid a lot for that speaker. Uh, so you definitely want to get that going to where uh, the speaker's protected. Uh, like I said last year, I had it uh, with the DS-18. It was still able to go uh, as far as it does cap, but uh, like I said, as far as somebody shoving their um, fist or a shoe or anything like that, um, the speakers were protected. This year, I got these PRV. Let's see if I can grab one while we're at it. I got these here. So I got these PRV grills. Um, hopefully, like I said, everything will work out as far as going um, right on in the pods and uh, covering up my speaker, like I said, as far as uh, the cone, uh, the dust cap, the cone might be with this type of grill. The cone is obviously exposed, but as long as the dust cap is, um, you know, in a circular shape or whatever the hell, uh, I think I'll be good to go there, man. So we'll see what happens, man. So, uh, like I said, just going ahead and hitting the upload. Well, going ahead and hitting record. Uh, eventually, I'll go ahead and hit upload on this video, man. But like I said, I just had to get up and try to muster up the energy to do this video uh you know anytime you do a youtube you want to come with that positive energy you want to be like hey man everything's kosher and i'm about to i'm bouncing off the walls because of car audio which is true 
uh, you know, in my type of situation, I'm when it comes to car audio, uh, I am that guy. I get hella happy about it, man. So, um, it's one of those deals where it's just like, man, I hope I'm not getting used to having this stuff. Uh, cause there was one time, I, you know, high school days, or early twenties, you had a little bit less money. So, um, you're buying stuff used, um, you're trying to upgrade equipment and you're trying to, Hey man, I heard so-and-so's truck or this car and he's hella loud and I want to do something similar to that, but only got $7 in my pocket. So yeah, just go around. we got a little bit more than $7 in our pocket. We got the custom speaker pods. Like I said, going in Impala, um, I had a whole lot more plans as far as the day in itself. So, um, I guess you can't see it. Uh, well, I guess you kind of can. I'll move that out the way. All of that wire right there, I wanted to get that spool open. I wanted to get my um, 3.0 welding cable. As far as the day, I had, I had the day planned out where I was gonna run some wires. Uh, at minimum, lay the wires out, unload the car, figure out what's, you know how many Two runs is my minimum. Uh, try to figure out the length of those. Uh, maybe lug them up. Maybe install them. Um, like I said, I wanted to go ahead and record this. Get this up here, man. But due to the weather, it's kind of chilly. Well, it's chilly up here. So like 50 degrees was a high, but it was cloudy. So it didn't feel like 50 degrees. Uh, then, like I said, man, I've been on some strongest muscle relaxer in the world type of thing with this. I'm, I'm assuming it's the vaccine. Um, because prior to that, I was feeling perfectly fine, man. So, um, hopefully tomorrow, uh, we'll top out around 60 something. Maybe I'll have enough energy to get up and start laying those wires out as far as running them along the car, figuring out, uh, how long they need to be. And another thing I guess I should, uh, expand on. Two zero two one. The goal this year was to go ahead and build a budget system. With that being said, um, my dollar amount on the subs per subwoofer was 200 bucks. I didn't want to spend anything over that because uh, I feel anything over 200 bucks or a $300 subwoofer. To me, that's not budget. Uh, I mean, I know, you know, you can get up to spend a thousand dollars per sub. I get that. Uh, but me personally, I had it to, you know, where I'm like, okay, I'm not going to spend more than 200 bucks a sub. And I also had it made up to where I was like, okay, all the previous years, everybody, hey man, what you got back here? Two tens. Um, that's something I've been saying for years. For some reason, people think you can't get loud uh, with two tens. So I was trying to come with tens. Obviously, I was going to do four. Um, hopefully, I, I don't want y'all to think I said four. I only had three fingers in there. Um, but um, Parker the Shelley, I think, or however you say his name, um, he and I both were on uh, an American base page earlier on Facebook. And we're like, hey, what's what's up with the products? So hopefully you can see back right there. Um, that's an American based um, sub, the box, the tape. Hopefully, you know, like I said, hopefully if y'all been following the channel, y'all know uh, I've been planning on doing American based XFL 10s. Problem with that is what's going on with American base? Where are the products at? You can't find an XFL. I mean, you can find a dual four barely. Uh, but as far as the 10s, dual twos, forget about it. Uh, I think Parker was looking for an X Max, and some guy was like, Oh man, you just gotta go here. He tried to show him up and go to the website. We're like, Oh, never mind, they're, they're sold out too. So I don't know. Uh, I hopped on Facebook again, uh, hopped into a SCAR forum. Uh, so now I'm starting to consider the SCAR DDX 12s, or SCAR, yeah, those two. So SCAR DDX 10s uh, was my initial. Uh, a lot of the guys, you know, that I've, I've never run SCAR. Um, they came was like, man, you might want to consider the DDX 12s. And I was like, okay, what about the EVL 10s? It was like kind of the same ballpark. Um, just a little bit more excursion, uh, as far as the power ratings, pretty similar. So like I said, I've never ran SCAR personally. Uh, let's see. I met maybe two people that have, so if I can get in touch with them, uh, I'll try to do some more research. So we might, I might be selling an American based sub. And switching over to scar so i can get this thing up and going uh because like i said in the previous video where i did the tech flex and that uh the heat shrink over there um yeah we got some more unboxings to go but we're also starting to look at uh getting to the point of installation man so obviously if you see these speaker pods here uh this is an installation piece man so uh we'll get everything up and going and try to go from there man so um you know anytime you put a new build together 
you're always going to run into some snags and things like that, man. So the best thing to do is to try to stay positive, man. So y'all know the deal. Um, stay tuned. Subscribe. Hit the like buttons. Definitely got a giveaway coming up. Uh, I know I've been kind of beating around the bush on that as far as how I'm going to do it. Um, going to go ahead Saturday night. Not going out. Like I said, it's kind of chilly out there, man. So I'm going to probably go get some wings, fill my stomach up, see if I can get some energy in me. Uh, sit down with the pen and the pad and uh, try to go as, you know, as far as like the giveaway and uh, how I want to do things as far as moving forward with the unboxing uh, videos coming up, man. So y'all know the deal. Any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and hit me up. I try to get back to everybody, man. And y'all know what it is. 2021. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got taken. It's your boy on Dub. I'm out of here. Maybe. <laughs> y'all have a good night.